The first new rule that will have a big effect on the races is the movable rear wing. It's called the DRS or drag reduction system because that's how it works. The upper part of the rear wing flicks up, reducing drag, making the car go faster in a straight line. Drivers can use it whenever they like in qualifying, but in the race, it's only to be used on the straight and then only if a driver is within a second of the car in front. In qualifying, the rear wing, movable rear wing, is just straight performance. It adds quite a lot of lap time and quite a lot of performance to the car. So from a team point of view, you want a rear wing that when you actuate it, it, it dumps absolutely as much drag as possible. Whether or not it, it works in the race, we all hope that um, from an overtaking point of view, we hope that we've done the right thing. But from just a straightforward, selfish team point of view, maximising that drag reduction in qualifying is uh, improved lap time. There are also a couple of changes to the powertrain. Gearboxes now have to last five races instead of four, and the Kinetic Energy Recovery System, or KERS, is back in Formula One after a year's absence. Like a hybrid car, KERS uses braking energy and turns it into a power boost on acceleration. When you speak about KERS, you speak about a gain of two to three tenths. So it is not really big when you think about all you, the thing you need to put in the car. I think it's good for the future of Formula One to try to bring some new stuff in it, but um, we'll have to see in the races with everyone having it what, what's happening. If it fails, of course, um, it's a it's a disadvantage. Not only have you no longer got the uh, the boost on the straight, you're carrying around a bunch of extra kit and clobber for no reason, and uh, and rather unpleasantly, it also. Um, does mess up rather the ability of the car to brake nicely because the front to rear uh, braking ratio changes quite a lot because the KERS acts on the rear wheels it takes braking energy away on the rear and if it suddenly isn't there then the brake balance will get screwed up. Changes to the sporting regulations include a return of the 107% rule which essentially means that cars that are too slow in qualifying won't be allowed to race and team orders are now legal, so drivers' positions can be changed by orders from the pit wall during the Grand Prix. There's no more ban on team orders. Is that useful for Ferrari? Uh, useful for everyone. And finally, the days of mechanics pulling all-nighters are at an end. All team members must leave the confines of the circuit for a minimum of six hours every night. But if something does go badly wrong, teams do have four exemptions to this curfew over the course of the season.